I will show you how to connect a professional email to your Go High Level account. For example, you want to use info at your domain name.com, for example, as a professional email to be able to send mass email mar emails out to your email list. We cannot use a Gmail, for example, account to be able to send a mass amount of emails out to our co email contacts list, but we need to have a dedicated email and I'm gonna show you how to connect your Outlook or your Google email to the high level plus create this dedicated domain name that's gonna be used for sending massive amounts of emails out to our list. Also understand that when we're gonna send an individual email out to any of the contacts from the app of our Go High Level, that email will go from either Outlook or from Google, professional Google email that we connected to the software. But if we send 5, 10, 15 emails out at the same time, or hundreds, right, to our email list, the software is gonna use that dedicated domain name that we connected plus it's gonna send emails from the server that's connected to go high level for sending emails out to massive amounts of people okay we need to connect a professional email as well to this platform and we're gonna create a dedicated domain name what that we could use an internal go high level uh, emailing but that's not good because many people are using that so we need to use a dedicated domain name that's gonna be right. The, so yeah, the emails will go out through our, in your case, this domain name, right? Info, yeah. yeah. So do you already have an email, first of all, with GoDaddy or not? Yes. Okay. So that's quite an important question, right? So for example, in GoDaddy, we might already have an email. If someone doesn't have a professional email yet created, you could mm -hmm. create it like here. You see, we have one. You can create it mm -hmm. with GoDaddy or you can create it also with Google Workspace or so. I'm not gonna teach in this video right now. I'm just teaching right now how to connect it if we already, and we need a professional email with, uh, that means that it's our domain name, even to receive emails back in Go High Level. Uh, that's another lesson, right? But we need, we cannot have a Gmail. We need this email, right? Now, here is the thing. This email already is connected to Outlook and it works. So for, yes. for yeah. So for our go high level, we mm -hmm. we are gonna need to create a mini subdomain for sending emails out from go high level, but it's gonna be still through this same domain name. Okay. So with that said, I'll go back and we're gonna create a de dedicated domain name and we're gonna add the domain name for email sending. And we're gonna copy in here. We mm -hmm. copy the, we copy this out, but we don't put this there. We don't put info at we don't put that there. We're going to call it mail.life is a special event or instead of mail, we could use contact, whatever we want to, we can use whatever we want here. This is a mini subdomain for email sending. I'll just put mail for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be used for sending emails out from go high level. They're going to go out from this subdomain mm -hmm. name. And I'll show everyone later. If someone responds to the emails that come out from go high level, how you're going to receive them. You're going to receive them here in outlook all the responses mm -hmm. and you're going to receive them in go high level as well yeah it's a little complicated but i started this so it's all good let's now authorize the domain name because okay. we, we need to give it another permission to create um a mini subdomain for email sendings right now what we re received here is some info that needed to be needs to be transferred into GoDaddy's domain names. And some of it was already done automatically right now, but first we're gonna click verify domain because some of them are already now verified because it automatically added them there. But this last one, we need to add it manually, okay? Th that was all done automatically. We need to do this last one manually. And this one is also quite important for emails to not go into spam and stuff like that. So I'll just do that one manually because this one cannot be done automatically. And we will simply add a new record, call it text, call it that thing that I copy and paste it right now. And then I copy this as well. And I'll put that as a value here. And this can stay that and we save. So after we transfer that one there, we will click here, verify domain name again. It's going to try to verify that last one as well. And this is not confirmed yet, but we will be clicking verify now again. 
because our otherwise we refresh a page okay so you see we verified yeah it's all good now you see it worked now that's the first step of connecting a domain name we are connecting to uh, this now but now we need to also go back here and set the settings like if someone replies to you or so which email should it go to okay and it should go all to the info right okay. so now we need that email again here could you type it down and after you put the email down make sure to press enter so it recognizes it mm -hmm. and then press save. Don't put an email here in the reply address because if you do that, then Goha level cannot track the emails because this one tracks them in Goha level, but they also come to your inbox. Now that's the important thing what we just did. Now to finalize this to work correctly, which we're going to even test right now. First, we're going to go under settings, under my profile. I will want to make sure that you want to have your email here as well. Because mm -hmm. that's the email that, that's going to be used in the app to send the emails out. And we want this one to be a front-end email. So that's good already. Maybe okay. under business profile, you could also have that email and you already have that. So that's all good. Another thing that we will want to do is go under my profile. And High Level gives us a very good feature here. Here, we want to connect your Outlook as well for two-way sync. Because... If you're going to send individual emails out of Go High Level, they will actually be able to just go directly from your Outlook email. I mean, directly from that info at email. But for mm -hmm. mass, mass email marketing, that subdomain is going to be used that we created. Okay, that's... Anyway, but we, we need... We, this is good to have. If you use Gmail, use Gmail. No We're using Outlook, so we'll use that. It's good to have your Outlook connected here as well. And it's going to be fairly easy to set this up. As this is going to keep everything very clean. I don't want it to get in my Gmail. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. This is, you have really mm -hmm. good setup for this. So that was all good. So we connected that as well. And now we can go test our email marketing. We can go under contacts and we're going to test it with my two tests. Actually, we can test it with my email. So we create a fake email here. I mean, it works actually. And we can try to email me now. Hey, oh. how are you doing? Hello. And is, you see it, this from email is automatically here now because we already email put the email there in the settings. Okay. In the, yes. so mm -hmm. that's the email that I'm going to receive an email from. I'll click send. And this went out now. And then, and, and now you can see that I received an email from you. You see that? Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. this, this one, came directly from your domain name and it came directly from you know, this one came from outlook actually right because it's only one it's only one email mm -hmm. but now, i like that it came with my name and then info at life is a special event so that's good yeah, yeah that's a that's all good but now i'm going to also show you if we send a mass amount of email because we're going to send it to two people now you're going to see how it comes still from this same name and same domain name but but down here, mailed by is going to be that mini mail dot subdomain that we created, okay? Mm -hmm. Understood. It's going to be signed with your subdomain. We need to make sure that that works as well. I'll reply to you mm -hmm. right now. Yes, I am receiving it. And to be honest, because we are doing this all correctly, also these emails, they don't go into spam or promotions. I replied there via my Gmail and you can see that Go High Level accepted that reply in here, right? So you mm -hmm. see, so we did that and under conversations, you're going to also be able to receive all of the replies here as well. Another thing that me and you will want to test right now is that if we do mass email marketing, if that works, so we're going to go under contacts and we're going to choose me and we need to choose another one. Let me see if there is another, um, if there at the bottom is also my, you see, we'll just do mine too. Okay. Okay. So, yes. what, so what I did is I selected two contacts. I mean, I could select many more if I would want to like 10, 15, 20, or even thousand, right? But mm -hmm. now we're going to go up here and we're going to send a mass email out. So it's going to go to two people at the same time or 10 okay. or 20. Mm -hmm. and there, there is one more thing that I will teach you. Meanwhile, we're doing this because you're going to need to learn and know this for later. Okay. Here from name, put your name, please. Mm -hmm. From email, right? You put that info email in here. 
email subject we can say whatever um i'm sending you what let me do it now and now you're gonna learn because later on for marketing okay you're gonna do this you're gonna say hey okay and you're gonna mm-hmm. use custom values and for custom values you will put their names down mm-hmm. you're gonna go contact and you will include only their first name here like that right and mm-hmm. it's gonna include their first name right Yep. So you need to know this for later whenever you're going to be sending emails to out to people you put yeah. hey space and then you go custom values you put the first name and exclamation mark for example does this work can be put anything okay this is just for go high level you can go ba- later back to the log of what you did before this you put whatever rubbish in here this is not important okay okay and then we press send email and those two people should receive an email now and I already received an email, right? I'm sending you both mm-hmm. this email. Hey, Primos, you see my name? Does this work? Mm-hmm. All, all of this is nice and good. And it really gives me an option to even unsubscribe from your email list now. Um, plus, I can check who this came from, right? It came from you and from this domain name, but it came from, you see, the, our signature subdomain that we created as a dedicated domain name, right? And that's pretty much it. And you can see that a reply to is set to me replying to this domain name and if i reply now thanks and you should be getting this in both outlook plus ghl let's say send and we're gonna go under conversations here and we see if those people came through right so that's Mm -hmm. from one email and that's from the other one so from both replies came into here right and if we came now to the outlook here you can see that we received a reply as well from my email to Outlook, and also it came to go high level. So this system now works. 